All right, exquisite students, let's start learning about atomic radius and how it affects chemical bonding. But first, let's just give a description of what atomic radius is like. Okay, so the size of an atom means the distance from the nucleus to the boundary of the surrounding cloud of electrons. This describes what atomic radius measures. More protons cause a decrease in atomic radius, which increases electrical pull, and this increase in electrical pull causes the radius to become shorter. This is why from left to right, there is a decrease in atomic radius. But if we were to go up to down on the periodic table, to the lower we go, we see an increase in atomic radius, as we now have more shells to surround the particle to increase the radius. All right, for example, let's check atomic radius. Increase. All right, so we're at the bottom of the table. See, as you can see, this represents our periodic table. We're at the bottom, and we see a de an increase, sorry, for atomic radius. Let's go to the right side. Ooh, we see a decrease. And now, let's go to our left side of atomic radius while we see another increase. And let's go to the top of the periodic table where we see another decrease. That's our pattern for atomic radius and what it is generally served for. And now our explanation for how this affects chemical bonds is the way that this would affect the bonds with, that we have for chemical bonding, you know, with other elements would be because of the amount of distance between a nucleus and another atom, this would require a higher amount of energy for another atom to steal the electrons or for them to share a bond with higher atomic radius since, well, there is quite literally more radius to try to freaking steal people's electrons. And that should be all.